Jonathan and Alex fight to stay in the game. Now on Big Brother Cheesecake 8 Political Bait. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik Moonves. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 8's Political Bait. It's day 49 inside the Big Brother Cheesecake house, and this week Dustin is the head of household, but the NDP is not safe for the week because Alex chose to dissolve Parliament with his key to the city. Dustin nominated Jonathan and Davey for eviction, but Davey won the Golden Power Veto in the Big Brother Captions Golden Power Veto competition. Uh, chose to use it to save himself, and Dustin nominated Alex in his place, which means tomorrow either Jonathan or Alex will be evicted and become the first member of the jury. Who will it be? We'll find out tomorrow. And what will their play speeches be? We'll find out shortly. But first, uh, I had a fantastic day in Buffalo with Tiffany. It was very long, but because uh, she shops, like, she has a shopping problem. Uh, <laughs> Hello, welcome to the border. How long were you out of the country? About five hours. How much did you spend? About 5000 <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> well done. Um, yeah, Olive Garden was sex. I didn't even take pictures because we were so hungry. The food came and we just dissolved it uh, and uh, or devoured it. But same thing. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts, actually, I have to admit, the iced coffee that we had, not as good as it used to be. First time ever I've not thought of Dunkin' Donuts as sex. Maybe I'm turning into a Starbucks snob because I really do like Starbucks cold brew. But we'll, we shall see. Uh, yeah, but I had a great time, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I do find it interesting that most of the... I used to go... Well, I go to Buffalo for food, obviously, Olive Garden, Dunkin' Donuts. I also go for clothes, and I have to admit, I used to go for shoes, because the U.S. used to carry sizes of shoes up to, like, Shaquille O'Neal size. I'm a size 16, and every shoe outlet store I went to in Buffalo only went up to 13, just like Canada. So I guess they've stopped carrying 16s as well. So I just I have to shop online now. And it, in a way, it's a good thing because I save money because I saw about 10 different pairs of shoes I would have bought if they had 16s. So I'm kind of happy that they didn't. Uh, but yeah, so I had fun. Uh, so because of that, I'm very tired and I will keep this episode very, very short. Uh, yeah, so it's time for our daily Jimmy Carter update. As of Monday at 10.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Jimmy Carter is... Alive! Well done. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention there will be a luxury competition next Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to give more details in uh, tomorrow's episode uh, because it's... I'm trying to think if it has any relevance to this week. Uh, no, it doesn't. It has relevance to the following week. So I'll, if I forget, remind me, but there's a luxury competition coming up on Tuesday, along with Joanne's recipe. Uh, okay, so, and the ingredient that I needed for Joanne's recipe also wasn't at the store I went to in Buffalo, so it's very odd. Uh, she's very elusive, that woman. Uh, okay, so let's move on to, give me one second, uh, the pulse. So, last week, we finally had success. Stephanie, it was her birthday. She's alive from Season 7, so we are 1 and 5. So, Brazil, there's a chance for you to tie this up and possibly win this season. Are you excited? No? Okay. Uh, so, this week, we are going to a relatively easy one, I think. Uh, we are trying to revive Lynn from Season 3. Uh, who was Lynn was our Scottish woman who was always like, you know, J.K. Rowling's a fucking cunt! Uh, yeah, so we're looking for her. Yeah, don't nominate me or I'll kick you in your arse! Uh, yeah, and I've not heard from her in a while, but I presume she's alive. Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's try and find her and revive Lynn to get us back closer to a tie score. Uh, the head of household competition is tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, any house guest wishing to play Colossal Advantage must do so by tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'm going to get to the rules. I'm not going to say the name of the competition because it gives something away, and I'm not going to give 
all the rules, but I'm going to give the skeleton so that you kind of at least know what's going on. So, here are the rules to the next Head of Household competition. This competition is brand new, but it has classic game mechanics, and I do love what I did to this competition. Here's how it works. I'm going to ask you a question. A series of actually 20 questions. I'm not telling you what the category is so you can study. But I will ask you a question where the answer is a number. Once I ask the question, you will have just 15 seconds, one five, to publicly, in the group chat, state your answer. 15 seconds. I will then type Joanne's boobs. Uh, oh, sorry, just Joanne's. Then you have... Uh, I'm going to make it... I'll give, I'll give 30 seconds for you to privately message me whether you wish to stay or fold. If you fold, there's no penalty, uh, but you cannot get a point for that round. Oh, and once everybody has said stay or fold, I will then type in boobs, giving you Joanne's boobs. If you stay and you are the person closest to the correct number, either over or under, uh, you will get a point. Uh, if you are, if you stay, but you are the person furthest from the number, you get a strike, three strikes, and you're out. Um, in the event of a tie, uh, for whoever's closest, both or all of the people in the tie will get a point. In the event of a tie for whoever's furthest, both or all of the people in the tie will get a strike. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you what the category of the questions is, but it is something new and really exciting, or really fun and interesting. Uh, yeah, at the end of 20 questions, whoever has the most points or the last house gets standing if everybody strikes out uh, will become the new head of household. And after a relatively wild week uh, of our first, you know, jury week and us now getting into day 50, I think head of household, I think everybody's fighting for it. I don't think anybody's going to be throwing at this point. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be very, very exciting. Okay, so Jonathan, Alex... In just a few moments, your house guests will cast their votes to evict uh, one of you from the Big Brother Cheesecake 8 house, but you will have a chance to plead your case with one brief statement. Uh, and you are both quite brief today. Uh, Jonathan, you're up first. Hey everyone, it's me, Jonathan. I'm so excited that I'm uh, playing this game with you all. I'm not excited to be on the block. Also, one of my eyes closes more than the other. Not sure why, it's probably because of all the pot I smoke, but that's okay because I just got off my surfboard and it's really, really exciting that I'm one of the um, surf twinks along with my friends Jeffrey, Nick, uh, and uh, Steven. And I'm really excited that I'm going to be saving a lot of trees this season in the Big Brother Cheesecake House. I love being, being a Bloc Québécois. I love exploring all the sites that Quebec and Mont Tremblant has to offer. And it's just, I'm just so super duper excited to be playing this game with all of you. And I really want to stay. And I think it would be so cool if I stay in this game. And I really like hanging out with all of you. You're all so much fun. Andrew, thank you so much for having me. You're super hot. And we should super fuck after this is all done. And yeah, I really, I love each and every one of you to death and to pieces. So whatever you do, I totally support you. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, next up we have, and I don't actually know, like, I just noticed I was on a call with Jonathan and one eye closed more than the other, and I thought maybe he got, like, stung by a bee in this eye or something, but if it is something, you know, actually serious, then I do apologize, I don't mean to make fun or light, I, th I think, I, I think you are delightful no matter how many eyes you have open. Okay, uh, Alex, you're up next. Okay, listen up, all of you fucking bitches. I'm sick and tired of being at the front of the Dragonfly Inn, yes, and all of you don't respect me, Alex. I've been on my hands and knees for weeks now trying to get into this game, and I actually don't need the satisfaction of any of you, because satisfaction for me is enough. I have the satisfaction of my dog Popo, my cat Cece, and my mommy who I love. Oh, if only I could get rid of you all. Maybe in 35 days I will, yes. So keep me if you want, and if you don't, I don't care. Jonathan or Alex, who will be evicted, get impeached from Congress, uh, and lose their shot at the $800 cash prize, and become the first member of the jury? Find out tomorrow on who will rise to power and become the new head of household. I'm Andrew Shevsky Moonbest. Take care, and remember... Ah! Oh, sure.
I thought it was over. I, I got the episode cut in 11 minutes. I was so happy. I was going to make fun of all the haters who thought I couldn't get it done. That sound means a twist is about to be unleashed upon the house guests. And this one, on day 49, is a big one. House guests. For the first time in Big Brother Cheesecake history, a house guest has elected to use the coup d'etat and overthrow the head of household. That's right. Either Alex or Curtis or somebody else got the pieces to the coup d'etat and has played it. So, let's find out who it is. Hello, there. It's me, President, former President, but should still be, because the others are crap. President Barack Obama, Aka Curtis. I've decided to uh, make a bipartisan effort, no pun intended, with uh, my friend Alex, who has uh, graciously decided to give up his pieces to uh, the coup d'etat. And I will overthrow the radical, super socialist, leftist party that is uh, Dustin. And I will be making some changes to the nominations. I have decided to save Alex with the coup d'etat. And I've decided to also save Jonathan. Which means I now have to nominate two new house guests for eviction who will have less than 24 hours to plead their case. Here we go. The first house guest who I have decided to nominate for eviction is. And the second house guest who I have decided to nominate for eviction is. I am using the coup because when Dustin won head of household, he uh, promised Alex and I safety for the week. He has planned to backdoor Zaki all week, but backed out two hours before the deadline last night. Likely because he has a tiny penis. Uh, at this point, we cannot let Dustin continue to mow down people who can possibly stand in his way of a sure win. So, this is a move to save his knowledge, not to punish anyone else. And uh, with that, uh, coup d'etat ceremony is uh, adjourned. So Curtis has used the first ever coup d'etat to save Jonathan and Alex from the chopping block, overthrowing Dustin, and he has selected Glow and Zaki to be the final nominees. Uh, Curtis will still get to vote in the eviction. Dustin will not get to vote. There will still be six votes. And house guest voting is now open to evict Glow or Zaki from the Big Brother Cheesecake 8 house and will close at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Regular voting rules apply. I sense this one will be close based on what I've already read. Uh, and yeah, this is this was wild. I have a lot of thoughts. I'm going to wait and see who is evicted before I give in my speech tomorrow. Um, why I think this happened and why certain events led to this point. I'm, I'm going to try not to say anything now because I don't want to influence anything. But based on who's evicted tomorrow, I have some opinions. Uh, but Glow Zaki, I will still give you one last chance to plead your case with one uh, brief statement. And Glow, you're up first. Hey y'all, it's me fucking Glow. Let me ask you something. How the hell am I the fucking star of the show? I bet the fans are excited to see me every time I'm nominated because they get to see Wacko Glow. None of your wit, extra wit people have any faith in me except Corey. Eh, nobody has any faith. But let me tell you something. House guests, I don't want you to evict me. I don't want history to repeat itself. Remember how boring Big Brother 12 got when Matt Hoffman used the, the silver, the diamond power veto to get rid of the dumb Sheriff Kathy? Well... 
Now, how, how stupid would it be if Curtis used the coup d'etat to get rid of the du former dumb sheriff? Go. Oh, I mean, seriously. What is it with all these special powers taking out the old lady? And, you know, everybody says they can't beat me in the end, but I gotta get to the end first. There's still a month left. Y'all have a month to get rid of me. This is the first time... You're having, we don't even know exactly what Zachy sounds like. Anyway, like, you know, that that's called the stealth. I'm not stealth. I'm out in the open. Uh, nobody has any faith in me. Uh, so I don't see... I'm not much of a threat. I'm in that chamber thale, dealie. Uh, but, you know, it's really it's really not nice. Like, first Carter's gonna die, and now this. So come on, house kids. Get, throw me a ball. I'm not gonna win nothing. I'm not gonna do nothing. Uh, I, I just... Don't, don't let the former dumb sheriff go on a, on a special power. What a waste that would be. Oh, okay. Thank you, Glow. And next up, Zaki. Hey, everyone. It's me, Zaki, aka Marvin Tikva from Mad TV. <laughs> you know, I, I can't believe I've been nominated on this coup d'etat. I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean, Sha Shelly, uh, Curtis, Curtis, come on. Come on! Oh, man. Oh, I want to buy a Miata. Hey, can I buy a Miata? I know it's a bit of a gay car, but I want to buy a Miata. Say, uh, fun fact, Hobby Lobby, they're anti-LGBTQ2 plus RSTL&E, but I totally slept with the CEO. <laughs> also, house guests, house guests, I want you to know that if you keep me, I'll give you each of you a 68. What is a 68? It's where you give me a blowjob and I owe you one. <laughs> hey, hey, Shally, Shally, I, I want a, I want a spaghetti carbonara, Shally. Shally, come on, Shally, come on. House guests, I, I, I want to prove to you that I'm here to play the game and, and that I can do good things and that you won't regret it. So, house guests, house guests, seriously, seriously, seriously. Come on! Glow or Zaki. This time, one of them will be evicted from the Big Brother Cheesecake 8 House, get impeached from Congress, lose their shot at the $800 cash prize, and become the first member of the jury, and who will rise to power and become the new head of household. Find out tomorrow. I'm Andrew Shevsky Moonves. Take care, and remember... Politicians are people who, when they see light at the end of a tunnel, go out and buy some more tunnel. Good night.